Welcome everybody. This is a production of Trains, Cars, and Destinations. And today, let's do a review of the Craig Electronics Pocket Video Camera. Now, as some of you know, Craig Electronics is a discount American electronics company. They're located in Florida and they make uh, very cheap uh, discount electronics. Now, now, I'm pretty sure, as most of you are thinking, okay, they're cheap, they must be crap. Well, it's half and half. So, let's discuss today the Craig Pocket Video Camera. So, let's move this car out of the way. And, here it is. There you go, folks. That is the Craig Pocket Video Camera. Now, let's talk about this. So, um, again, this is made by Craig Electronics, located in Florida. I think it's either Miami or Tampa. Um, they make discount electronics, and this is a pocket video camera. I bought this brand new on eBay for about $15. Um, I'm not sure how much these cost uh, brand new, but I know obviously these are dirt cheap. So those are the specs right there. If you like to pause and read the specs. Um, now there's some advantages and disadvantages. This is not uh, the device that I use in my daily filming. Uh, I use flip video cameras for that, and I'll make reviews of that of those in due time. Um, but let's just do, you know, a run around. So I'm showing you the outside. The body is plastic. I mean, it's not the cheapest material, um, but it does feel somewhat hollow. On the side, you have uh, colored plastic. Um, this is your screen, your LCD screen. And then that's there is uh, your control module. And then this is your side right here. And this is the back and it kind of, there's more specs there. It's just kind of like a side view. And then this is a front view, side view of the side view. So let's go over the features of this. So the biggest feature is that you can take a video of yourself. Um, and how that works is that this screen is movable. So this is a movable screen. Once you open up, once you move the screen, you can kind of see more uh, specs there. So USB 2.0, TV out. Um, this has a TV out cable, but trust me, it is not modern. Um, 1.5 inch TFT display and a 4X digital zoom. So. Those right there are your specs. Now looking at the side here, this is where all the action is. So if you slide this up, you have there a pop-out USB stick. So let me show you that. It's actually pretty cool how it kind of just you know shoots out of there. And you see the cover kind of moves out of the way to, you know, for the USB to pop out. So similar to the way flip video cameras work, this is simple. So you just simply take your video, then you can just slide that out hook it up into your computer and post your video. Um, this here is your battery compartment, just also like a flip video camera. You uh, slide it out like that, and those are your batteries. Now, I very much like this design because I do not really care for the uh, you know cameras where, or you know video cameras, camcorders, where you have to put the batteries in the back because if you jiggle the device, the batteries might become undone and thus your camera turns off when you're making a video. But this I like because this guarantees that the device will pretty much never turn off. And um, it does take AA batteries, takes any sort of AA batteries, doesn't matter how bad it is. As far as storage, once you if you buy the device, um, it does, oh, turn it on by accident. Didn't mean to do that. There's your little sound it makes. Come on, turn off. Turn off. Kind of see the quality there, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, but nonetheless, let's just move this out of the way for a second. So, when you buy the device, it does come with this. This is a two gigabyte SD card. This comes. This comes with the Craig Pocket Video Camera. Um, obviously. If you want more storage, you can buy your own SD card. Now, again, this is not micro SD. This is a normal SD card because I believe 
Um, this came out in uh, 2012, because when I got the package from eBay, it was brand new, it was never opened, but it did say 2012, so I believe this is from 2012. And so you stick your SD card in the slot here, relatively easy to put in. Um, you hear the clicking sound, so, you know, that's how you put it in. And like I said, that's your battery compartment, that's for your USB. And like I said, the screen does flip out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's turn on the device and let's explore the features. Makes a little sound there. Now as you can see from the quality, um, obviously, as you can see, it's, it's decent. Not that good really though, as you can see. The difference between what you know my phone and this um let's go through the features so like i said this does have a 4x digital zoom using the top button so there you go you can kind of see i'm zooming in on this uh peanuts cup here this cup of uh, snoopy so there you go now i'm zooming out um and like i said quality wise it records in 480 um it records uh, 30 frames per second video, so nothing spectacular, but it's decent. So this is your power button here, record button. So of course, uh, if you want to take a video, you hit the red button. And there you go, it's making a video. You can see the red button, then you hit the red button again. And there you go. So um, let's go through the mode. So right now, you can see up here in the top left-hand corner, there's a picture of a recording device so that means it is recording so if you click the mode button you then can see if you see here on the screen there you can see a camera button or a VGA so you can take a uh, VGA quality pictures so you could take videos and pictures if you click mode again um, it shows your video so let's play back the video and um, see this is basically how the quality is So that's an example of one video. Um, this is an example of a video of a train leaving a train station. Um, I will have a link in the description box below of a video that was taken uh, with this device so you can see better what the quality is but yeah the quality is basically crappy it's not awful it's not awful quality but again it has a very low frame rate um, the sound quality is not good it's very it's very muffled um, but it gets the decent job done it takes decent looking pictures um, it takes decent quality video nothing spectacular though um, really, and right here, so it's it's decent. It's not that good. I'd probably give this maybe a five or four out of ten or something. Um, now, as far as the features, once you buy it, it comes with this extremely cheap, um, you know, hook. You know, hook you could just put in right there. You know, to make sure that you know you can hold it. Basically, it's a wrist strap. Um, this is now. This is what I was talking about the TV input. This is how old it is. So, this is um, AV cables. I'm not joking. There's no HDMI. This uses old-fashioned AV style cables. So you plug this in uh, to the device right here, like that. And then you hook these two AV cables into uh, your TV to view your videos. So uh, that's how you know, old school it is. And it may, I mean, it really is old school. So I'm going to demonstrate how the quality, to better demonstrate the quality, I'm going to hook this up to uh, an old TV that I have so you guys can kind of see the quality of this, of the uh, video from the Craig Electronics Pocket Video Camera. All right, guys, now it's all hooked up to the uh, this old dinosaur TV here. You see the AV cables. So let's go ahead and play this video so you guys can better see the quality.
So that's one example. Uh, this is another example. And you do have the ability to uh, rewind the video or um, let's play this one. So as you can see, you can uh, fast forward or rewind. So you do have the power to do that. So obviously this pauses the video. Hit again, top button pauses, unpauses, and then you have these two side buttons. So let's watch this video. So pretty much that's the quality you're going to expect. This is a picture um, of a clock, so you can kind of see the quality you're going to get from this. It's not the worst quality, but honestly, um, it is pretty crappy. The quality is pretty, pretty crappy. And uh, that's all for this portion, and now let's head back over to the desk and continue the review. All right, guys, we're now back here at the desk. Um, so I already showed you these two buttons. This is your menu button. So you can control your your uh, movie size. So again, you can do 640 by 480 or 320 by uh, 240. You can do your frame rate, whether it be 30 frames per second or 15 frames per second. Uh, your metering, you control the white bounds for auto, daylight, cloudy, fluorescent, or bulb. Um, just leave on auto. And then if you... Um, I move over to the right. You can see you can toggle between the left screen and the right screen. Here you control your sounds, your power frequency, um, how how long before after you turn it on it you know automatically goes into like saving mode, your language, your TV input, your USB input uh, format, and of course resetting everything. So that's pretty much it. Overall, I personally don't like this. But this is for my dad. My dad is 67 years old, so for him this is perfectly good. This is perfectly fine. Um, so overall, I'd probably give this this Craig a, I'd say a four out of ten. Um, no, okay. My final rating for this is a five out of ten. So as far as the pros, I do like the way I do like the way this uh, battery compartment is designed. I like that. I like how you could just simply bring out your USB, put it into the computer. I do like how the screen does um, flip out, so you could take a video of yourself. Um, I do like that, and the controls are relatively simple. My big issue, the video quality pretty much sucks. The camera quality sucks. Um, it's not good in daylight. There's so little backlight to this that in daylight, you pretty much can't see e anything. Um, the sound quality is not good. The picture quality is only decent. So um, overall, it's okay. So I mean, I got this for $15 on eBay, so it's pretty much what you're going to get. Um, it's pretty crappy, but it gets the job done. So I'll be nice. I'll give this a rating of 5 out of 10. That's my final rating. It's okay. Um, if you want something that's undemanding, yeah. So 5 out of 10 for this. Um, so overall, guys, that's it. That's, this is my review of the Craig Electronics Pocket Video Camcorder slash camera. Um, if any of you comment, um, please leave me a comment if you have any questions about this. Um, if you want, I can send you guys the link to where to the eBay page in which I got this from. Um, overall, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. This has been a Trains, Cars, and Destinations production. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And again, this overall is a review for the Craig Electronics Pocket Video Camcorder. My overall rating for this is a 5 out of 10. The last thing I'll show you is... Um, you know, your owner's manual and stuff. And when you do buy it, you do get a case to keep your SD card inside. So, I mean, it's nice. Um, so overall, five out of 10. Thanks, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day.